Peace people, I am Fertig and welcome back to the return of Caesar in Xeric Kings 3. Playing as the Roman Empire, I'm currently trying to recover from having a lot of factions fire off at the same time. And we still have actually one faction going here in Hindustan, Hindustani even. We are kind of close to actually being able to white piece him out. I always want to find out where this guy is at so I can go and kill him before he is able to siege this down in 22 months, which will obviously not happen. But what I'm gonna try and do is that I'm gonna try and raise my troops and kill the guy. And then we're gonna keep on going for our world conquest, because that's exactly what we are aiming to achieve in this campaign right now, going for world conquest. Oh man. He's looking a bit ugly. Did I just marry you off? Yes, I did actually in between episodes. I'm gonna marry this guy to someone. I'm gonna marry this young woman. You had some nice moments together, but now you need to grow up and have intercourse with the right person instead of with the that person. You're gonna still be able to have intercourse with your own family, but make sure it's the right person in the family and not someone else, preferably. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a bit upset with them. Child of my dynasty, Georgian, he is not important. We lost actually a siege, that's interesting to see. We are controlling the war target though, so that's the main important thing. It's taking forever to raise this troops though. Which is not great, but what can you do about it? Not really a lot. We could use that and I'm not going to. I could create some titles, I'm not going to. I need more troops, otherwise I will not beat these people. I'm gonna try to see if I can capture this guy and like just enforce the demands rather than just trying to white piece him out if I don't have to. Because otherwise he might just try and do this thing again. And I would prefer for that not to be the case. It is... Oh, that is not important. He just got married to her. And they had intercourse immediately apparently. And that's basically what they should do. I could strike a deal with the Chief Mason, I'm gonna try. Okay, someone's gonna fabricate the hook on someone. Someone is scheming, there's a lot of nasty things to happen. Absolutely. I need stone masons in the Roma. And I also gain a perk, that's great. I'm going for... Vassal tax contribution, I think. Yeah, it did a lot for my income, as we can see. How far away are, is this from happening? It's gonna happen in 12 months. I'm gonna lose my mercs very soon though, but I think this is gonna be enough. I'm gonna go for the best commander that I have available, which is not this guy. It's this guy, rather. And we should win this. We are, we are defending with the superior force and probably with... Why would I imprison these people? I could torture them. And one died. I will not get Kinslayer though, because both of them died, right? Because this guy is actually of my family and he used to be a very good commander for me. That's a bit weird. I actually don't have the core physicians. I actually need to replace my... I need to get a new one. I also need to get a new priest. Preferably. I'm going to go for... It's a bit old. He is uh, decent enough. This guy is probably better to go for. This guy is so much better though. Let's see if I can find a decent enough learned person to become my court physician. Preferably not someone who wants to kill me. Oh, Cesarissa, you can be the one for me. I'm gonna appoint you. Thank you. It's very nice of you. And hopefully we will win this battle. We should win. I think I have a better commander. I do. And I do have the advantage on my side. Because I am the defender. And they're only levy just as we are. And we are winning the battle. I don't care my half sister. I'm gonna be a rival anyway. So this guy he is gonna die I think. Because I don't think we could. We could do it as we would be able to recruit him, we could not convert him, so I'm not gonna bother about it. I'm just gonna kill the guy and get some dread for free. 
so be it. And then we are going to go on the offensive again. The question is, where do I want to go? I don't think that I'm able to befriend people yet. It's a bit of a shame. You have this guy. And he has two sons, and I have missed both of them. That's a shame. And none of them are guys, Julius Caesar. I need to make sure I look at the children in the future. So I actually give, give them the right name. Otherwise, it would be a downright shame to not have people be named the right thing. I would be very disappointed. Is there anyone of this Borgian place that I could preferably get for free, like something like that? I would need Befriend though, just to make it a bit quicker. Right. I could. How big are these kingdoms? I think Mongolia is the Borgian one. Oh, no, Mon it's actually an empire. This is still an emperor. This is still an emperor. That's a downright shameful empire, to be fair. So I'm not going to be able to befriend and take that, but that is, that's... I would be ashamed if I was that person. Could I take the Kingdom of the Mott? Or could I take as much as possible from the Kingdom of the Mott if I, if I tried? If I went for an invade kingdom, it would be terrible. I should not do this. At all. Is there a good kingdom that I could take, though? So is not particularly good e either. As we can see, it's decent. It's not the worst. There are worse ones than that one. Also, is decent. If I could get closer to here, so I can try and take this this kingdom. I could just take it now, but I would not be connected to it. It's decent on the map, and there's a lot of kingdoms spread out here in Africa. I would like to take them all in one go if I could. We had an invasion CB on this person. It would be terrible when it comes to actual counties, though. That's the... That's a downright shame. This one, though. I would love this. It's a decent kingdom. Or it's a decent, it's a very good kingdom. And we would get all of it in one go. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna go for this one. In modern day... Like Eastern Bangladesh, Western Cambodia or something? I'm actually not sure. I'm not particularly good when it comes to geography in this area. We are actually already neighboring him. I didn't notice. So I'm gonna actually just go and invade this kingdom. And take it down. How strong is he? He's kind of strong. Especially the thing is how weak we are. That's like to think. We are incredibly weak in comparison to our size. Which is not a good thing. But that's still something that we can deal with, I think. In due time. Someone joined in the wars. They're not particularly strong though. Or stronger than you would think. Actually 9,000. I gained yet another daughter. That's nice to know. I would like these people to get raised. Preferably with my men at arms before these people arrive with their army trying to kill my one. Like they're gonna do right now. This could go very badly for us. This could go terrible for us. Uh, they're gonna arrive in... 8 days. They're going to arrive in six days. They're going to arrive in one day. I'm not going to be gathering when they attack us. Because that's a terrible thing to do. And I'm going to go for a better commander. Apparently he's a worse commander. According to the game. This is a... It's just because he has a lot of stats, I think, this, this other guy. They, they think he's better. They are decent, I guess, but... Hmm, I would prefer... He has more, like, commander advantage, that's the thing. Even though they say we're gonna lose, I don't... The thing is, he probably had some men at arms. Yeah, he does. That's, that's like, the main reason, I think, why they, we would lose that battle. And that's a sizable enough army that I'm not gonna lose as well. I guess I'm gonna take this commander that they say is better at fighting. I am not able to because he's commanded this other one. I would really like this guy. What is he doing? What are you doing? He's already fighting his own war. I see. That's why. But 
seriously, if I take this 25 commander advantage, I am defending in the jungle. He has a better army of... Yeah, sure. And yeah, he's gonna win. Easily. He has men at arms. I do not. And I just lost one of my mercenary companies at the same time. That's great. Man, I'm just gonna run away. That, that really didn't work out. Man, it really didn't. Oh, she gained lover's box just like everyone else of my women has by this point. How far away would you go? Why is he going so far? That's the question I would like to know. I will confront someone. I don't really care, but okay. I guess I have to care about it. You've always been such a... Ooh. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. That, that This is not great. That's also probably an army that could kill mine if they wanted to. You, go here. Run away. We gain a new cat branch. That's not the important man of my family that I care about. Someone got discovered trying to scheme. Okay. It's not really like I care about it, but we, what we're gonna try and do is... He's gonna win this siege soon. I think we are gonna get our at arms eventually. No, yeah, there we go. Finally, we have a sizable enough army that we can win stuff. Which we, I will actually do. I'm gonna kill these people first. And they're probably gonna try and reinforce. Or not. We just have to wait and see what happens. But I'm gonna try at least to win the battle and the war as well. We are gonna smash them. Easily. Sherry Gathering. Nice. I like it. We smashed them. That really did work out. I'm gonna try and catch these people if I could. The wine merchant should be in town. Yeah, he should be. Otherwise, he would be stupid if he weren't in town. In town. If he weren't in town, he would be a stupid man. I'm gonna cross the river. That's fine. Because he's actually running away from us. Because he's scared. Like a little chicken. Because now he knows that I'm able to defeat him. I just, I'm not particularly happy about the fact that I lost the first battle. In all honesty. It didn't cost me a lot of war score comparison to the battle that I won. Which is a bit weird. In all honesty. Because I lost like... I didn't guess I didn't lose that many men. But I lost a bigger battle than he did. Like, they were kind of equal in size and stuff. Like, the prestige loss from that would be greater than me smashing that small army, you would think. Seeing as, like, how big his army still is. But I guess that's not the case. I'm going for his capital, and he's trying to raise more troops in his capital. And then he's trying to outmaneuver me, and he's apparently incredibly quick in compared to Centaurs. I guess it might be because I am... That's not the important child. He... She's very good, though. She's not particularly important. Gotta go for the capital. Immediately. It's gonna work out. That's great. There's a scheme. And we must stop some villains. Yes, we must. That's not an important child. Okay. Hmm. We won! Great, we actually captured the king. And now I'm gonna get a huge kingdom, which I need to give away, so I'm gonna do that in a second. So see you soon, guys. Okay, there we go. Now we are going again. So I gave away some stuff to random people, and I also noticed that we actually kept this kingdom that I just took. So this guy is actually hating us because I declared war and stole his kingdom, or basically like two-thirds of it, and he's stuck down here in the Fatum. Rex, I'm not gonna try and even try and pronounce that name. I'm gonna try what I could do though, is if I give you back your wife, would you be happy? She would like me. I could do this. She wouldn't like me. I could recruit his wife. That would be a nasty thing to do. Absolutely. Come here, woman. Can I take you as a, you as a concubine or a lover? I would like to try. 
I'll try and ransom some people with this button, it's a bit quicker. I've already marked the people that I won't, don't want to get away. I can't even speak. That's a bit nasty. Right, so where is the next place to go? We took a big chunk of basically India and Bangladesh. I want to try and keep on taking the rest. This is a kingdom that I would like to befriend to take, preferably. But I could try just Holy War for a kingdom and get basically all of it. It's not particularly big, though. It's, it's not small either. That's also something to keep in mind, but it's not the biggest kingdom in the world. You have some claims on some stuff. Um, it's not particularly big, though. That's terrible. Terrible. Really terrible. It's not... It's not that good. It's better than some kingdoms, it's not better than other kingdoms. It would be really cheap though. Really cheap. There, are, there aren't too many big kingdoms around anymore. That's like the thing that I have to think about. There's not a lot of kingdoms around. This kingdom is terrible, by the way. I'm never gonna take a kingdom, I'm just gonna go for the duchy. I do need to get rid of this guy though. And these small guys that are actually independent in this region. Did this guy used to be independent? I don't think so. I don't remember him being independent. <laughs> Pardon. But apparently he is. Interesting. Interesting indeed. There's some stuff happening on Iceland apparently. Which I didn't know about. But that's fair to them. I don't care. They can do whatever they want to. And apparently these islands are impassable terrain, even though we can actually see them. We can watch these islands and we can't go there. I don't know what they're called. What are these islands called? If anyone of you know, please tell me down in the comment section. I would like to know. Yes, I would. I think I'm either going to go for this kingdom or this one. I'm going to go for this one. Actually, I'm going to go for Holy War for the Lakshmanavati. Or however you pronounce that. I'm gonna kill this guy. By basically taking his duchy. Apparently it's a duchy. And I'm also gonna attack this guy. For a duchy. I would like a good one if you would like, wouldn't mind. It's not terrible, but I guess there would be like to be some better ones. I think this is the biggest one. Uh, which one was that? This one. And this independent independent dude. He's gonna take his county. The reason I'm declaring Holy Wars is that they're cheaper. When it comes to piety cost in comparison to prestige cost. And you too. Welcome. Welcome. That that is this little snip, snippet of song is just replaying all the time because it's the thing that you get whenever you're gonna declare a holy war. It's kind of kind of annoying if you ask me. Actually, I can I can only go for a county. Yeah, you only claim on one thing. I'm gonna go for a holy war on the county. I have to go for a kingdom or. A Conquer claim. So try, I'm just trying to take as much as much as possible, if I as possibly possible, because that's what I want to do. This guy is probably someone that we can attack as well. That's only two counties. So I would prefer a, key, a, a that chief, if you don't mind. That's a decent one. I gotta take that one. So now we are basically at war with the entirety of this. Which is nice, I like it. Not this person though, I need to attack her too. That's awful. Would I like this one? I would prefer this one. In fairness. And this should be the last thing to take. So there we go, and now we're gonna just try and raise our troops and take some people out. question is where do I start? I think I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. You know? I think that's a decent way to go about this. It's capitalist down here, so I'm just gonna start down here. 
bit away from where his troop is gonna get raised. And I'm gonna raise my troops. And his, troop got, his troops got raised very quickly. They really did. And mine is taking forever to get to like get raised right now. Hopefully they will not try and kill me. That's what I would do. I would try and catch this army before I, I could race them. If they, this was my opponent and I was actually having lesser troops than he had. He's apparently not trying to. He's a bit stupid. He could have killed me there if he wanted to and he chose not to. And now everything is just gonna spiral out of control for him. He will not be able to defeat us. I'm getting sieged down everywhere though. Not that fun. Come on guys. Show up. Especially the men at arms. I want them. I need them. Otherwise this is not gonna happen. To regain the new Cadet branch was apparently my court chaplain who made that one happen. Come on, guys. There we go, finally. That's actually a sizable enough army, especially if we counter all of them in together. It's a lot of people. I'm just gonna walk, siege down the capital, walk through these guys, kill them, take down the capital, and that's just pro hopefully gonna be enough to win this thing. It's a bit of a lag now because I've played for a while and there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Not that fun. And apparently we have a faction being strong enough to fire off. Hopefully it's just a peasant one. It is. Only a peasant one. It has to do with me being incredibly weak at this moment in time. Oh, thank you. Why are we already losing this stuff so badly? Because he's he is already sitting me down, apparently, for some reason. He's fighting someone else. You, I would like to think. Why is he having 46%? Like, how have he, has he already sieged these things down? We just started. It's really weird. Come on, guys. Uh, I hate this lag. So we're gonna try and siege this guy down. That's gonna actually gonna be for some for next episode. I'm gonna take a break, you guys. Make sure to like this video if you have enjoyed. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and leave a comment down below if there's something that you want to talk about. We're gonna take these guys down. We're gonna try and work our way towards befriending some people. I'm actually just gonna do that immediately. Go for befriend, try and take as much as possible before we die, and we're gonna go for a world conquest. Hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Take care.